Kate Amy from WatsonLife.com and today I'm going to show you how to make these super simple watermelon popsicles. So, the reason I decided to make these is that this is going to be like, I'm a really good mom. A little backstory to these popsicles. Probably the last couple weeks we have been fighting with Seth at time. She has been fighting to go to sleep so bad and I think it's because she's four, she still naps. And so bedtime can be really difficult. She calls us a million times in the room. She's thirsty, she's hungry, she's in the bathroom. And so the other night, when we were out and about, she asked if we could get a treat. And my first instinct is like, no, you know, we don't need to spend the extra money to get a treat. And then I was like, wait, we get a treat, then you have to go to bed nicely. That night, she got a popsicle and then she went to bed. So nice. nice. Wait a minute, I have an entire box of bribery now. And so the next day, same thing, gave her a popsicle and she went to bed nicely. Probably not the best <laughs> parenting advice, but it worked and I was, you know, at the brink of going insane of hearing, Mom, or I'm a starving Marvin. Yes, literally, she was repeating that to herself over and over and over again. Can't make anybody go for it. So, then when those popsicles ran out, I decided to make some watermelon popsicles. I had a watermelon sitting in our pantry for a couple weeks that I kept forgetting to cut. And so I made, decided to make these watermelon popsicles. You're going to need so watermelon, honey, lemon juice, or lime juice, and then popsicle molds. So it fills six popsicle molds. I currently only have five because of my dogs eight. So, and then you either can have the lids to these. Um, these ones came with the thing and I will link in the description below, I'll link um, where I got these from. But they have like a little lid to them. But I'm gonna use popsicle sticks. Okay, so what you need is four cups of watermelon. And I just chopped this up pretty well. And this doesn't have to be exact. If you have leftover, I just drink it. I'll add it to some lemon water and it's really delicious. Because uh, it's watermelon. And so if there's any leftover, I just eat it or I keep taking it because watermelon is one of our favorite foods. how I do it, literally just throw it in here, kind of just stuff it in, and you just need four cups of this. Now, if you don't have four cups of watermelon, you're totally fine. You could even add, like, take it, say you only have three and a half cups of watermelon, you could add some, like, strawberries in it instead, maybe even some blueberries for the other half a cup. You can kind of play around with this recipe. All right, four cups of that. Ooh, there's a seed in there. Um, I would definitely recommend using seedless watermelon, which I do use. Darn it, there's leftovers. Great, I'm going to add to this one tablespoon of lemon juice. You can also use lime juice, which would be really delicious, but this is what I have on hand. So, I'd actually prefer the lime juice, Ooh. but this is what I got. So, so I'm going to use two tablespoons of honey. Now, like my sister-in-law, she did it without honey, and the kids love them. I don't find them quite sweet enough to not use honey. You could also use maple syrup um, or sugar. We just try to stay away from refined sugar as much as possible. The watermelon you got is not so sweet, which this would be the perfect recipe for that. You might need to add a little bit more sweetness, so you can kind of test it out and see. The watermelon I picked is pretty good. When I was pregnant with Ari, I it was in my pregnancy cravings, so I feel like I got pretty good at picking out watermelons. The biggest thing I always look for is the spot on the bottom. It should be nice and big. It should be really deep in color. And it should have lots of webbing on it. That's usually how I find really good uh, watermelons. Also, you want to find the rounder watermelons are going to be sweeter than the oval water. That's always the fun part because kids are sleeping and so I just have to like hope and pray that they do not wake up from blending. So you're just going to blend this until it's nice and very Now I'm gonna just pour these into my molds. Leaving just a little bit at the top because things do expand a little bit nicer. What you really wish you have that sixth thing. So I do have a little left over, so I'm gonna or you can also throw those in the freezer and kind of make it icy if you don't want it to uh, freeze all the way. I'm going to stick some popsicle sticks in it. 
And because of the texture of the watermelon, they kind of stand pretty well. Now, if you really wanted to, if you really are feeling like a texture person, you could strain these out and get rid of any of like the little fi the watermelon fibers, but they really don't bother me at all. I don't think they're bad in this at all. All right, I'm gonna stick these in the freezer for about two to three hours, and then they will be delicious. For storage purposes, what I like to do is I like to freeze them, and then you can either, if you aren't planning on making popsicles anytime soon, you can just leave them in the popsicle molds until you're ready to eat them, and just run them under warm water for just a few seconds, just to get them loose enough to come out. Or you can, if you plan on making more popsicles in the really near future, and so you're just like on a popsicle kick, what you can do is take them out after they're frozen, take them out of the popsicle molds by thawing them under a little bit of water, and then putting them in a, like a Ziploc, Bag and then try to lay them flat to freeze, that way they don't freeze together. You can also put parts of paper between them if you'd like to. But they need at least two or three hours to freeze and they will stay good for approximately a month or so if they even last that long because these last like two days in my house. The kids just like love them. Ari's getting some new teeth so he definitely loves them. so much for stopping by a Blossoming Life YouTube channel. I share one new recipe, DIY project, or natural product every week. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share with your friends. And for any tips or tricks and the whole recipe card, you can definitely visit the blog at blossominglife.com, and I will leave some information in the description below. I'll leave any of the links of products that I use down below, so make sure you check those out. Thanks so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoy your watermelon popsicle.